Hello everybody and welcome to uh, the latest, probably the last episode of An Honest Review. Uh, my name is Tovar and if you are new to the channel, I basically buy stuff that I think that I'm gonna like for either working out, being outdoors, travel, uh, you know what I mean? And I give you an honest review here on my YouTube channel. Uh, some years ago, I was looking for a specific pair of boots and I was looking for a good review and all I could find was unboxing um, I found a couple of videos of guys walking in their backyard saying, oh, these feel comfortable. And I thought, you know what, that's not a review. That's not what I needed. I ended up buying the boots. I ended up not liking the boots for things that I wish somebody told me in that review. So um, here we are. That's welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing a piece of uh, training equipment, which is the Go Rock Weighted Vest. I just came back from running six miles in it. I just removed the plates. This is what I was, these are the rogue plates that it's compatible with. Um, I just removed it so I could have a, an, easy, an easier handling of the, of the product while I'm showing you the reviews. And I'm gonna compare it to the 511 tack plate carrier, which as of now has been the gold standard of a good quality vest uh, for training. I'm going to start off saying two things. One, I'm a reluctant Go Rock supporter. <laughs> reluctant because when I started uh, rocking, I needed I needed to rock because I was training for long events. I was training actually also for hiking, and I just wanted to have a way to simulate the weight without actually having my 50, 60 liters pack on me. Um, I tried different bags, I tried different techniques, and in the end, I ended up using rock plates and a go rock bag and i highly i highly recommend them i think they are you know you, you get what you pay for um they're great over the years back when i started the, the year one was never on sale all the rocks on all the products were made in the usa so the price was a little bit higher uh right now their prices are quite they have products that are quite affordable um and i think they're a great company they do great stuff right so if I'm a little bit biased on liking the products, it's even in spite of not wanting to like them. So I want to point that out. Uh, secondly, these are two different products, right? The GORUCK vest, weight vest, came as, as, as it says, right? As a weight vest, a, a, a vest that you're going to be training because you want additional weight to be part of your training. The tech plate carrier, it's an actual body armor carrier. You can actually put body armor in it right it has all sorts of different features like for example the molly webbing so you can actually um, uh, attach different pockets or pouches or bags or whatever you you, you may want to it has um, also a little pocket here which to be quite honest i kind of missed that one i wish gorok had a little pocket because this was great to put my cell phone in um, you know they're built differently Right, so that's let's start. That's the, also the second thing that I wanted to say. Um, you know, the 511 tackle plate carrier started to become popular um, as well. You know, train how you fight, right? So military, uh, they fight with body armor, so they train with body armor, and then we have the Murph Memorial Workout, and then we have the CrossFit Games, and we have all these things, and now everybody wants one. Everybody has one, right? So, go rock. Uh, Weight vests, it's it's designed to do exactly that without all the features or the added stuff of being a tactical vest, if that makes sense. I went on a six mile run, like I said today. Um, I still have the towel gun because I honestly wanted to not like it. I thought, well, I can just maybe, you know, uh, set it back or sell it or find somebody that wants it. But no, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, I really like this. Very easy to adjust, right? I saw, I saw another video online that said like, hey, it would be good to have the flap so this doesn't get, you know, filled with grit or, or you know, dirt, whatever. You know what? No, because this is exactly what you need. You need to have an easy, if you have a flap, then it's a two, it's a two uh, step to adjust. And on my run, if I'm going uphill, I want it a little bit more loose so because I'm bending over. If I want it snug, because maybe I'm doing, uh, push-ups and I don't want it to write up, then I can do that. It's very easy to do. So yes, I like this without the flap. It's it's a lot easier, right? If we compare that to the 511 one, 
then that's actually the system that you had, right? So you had to undo these two guys, one side, other side, and then underneath, right? So a little bit more cumbersome to adjust on the go. Um, also, you have to make sure this one, that these are lined up with the top panel because if they're here, I cannot really tuck these ones in, right? If I put them a little bit too low. If I put it too high, I cannot really fold it, right? So if I'm in the middle of a very gruesome workout, or if I'm in the middle of, the, of an actual run, um, it's kind of like it becomes a little bit cumbersome, right? So the, I appreciate the other system, which is a lot easier. Um, have I run in this? I have run half a marathon in this. So yeah, trust me, I did want to, to have some adjustability, right? So while I have while I have this one here, right, and I have it uh, set up, uh, I can point I can point out another quick difference, right? So I have the vest here. See how it really comes very close to my neck, right? I think the reason is because this is built on a joint. So yes, it moves a little bit better with you, but it also tends to ride inwards, at least for me. Um, whereas the Gorup vest, it's stitched directly into the outside portion of the panel, which it was a lot more comfortable during my run. It was a lot more comfortable, it was not riding up to my neck. Um, a couple of years back when I, when, I, when I was running a lot in the, in the, in the tech vest, um, sometimes I just end up putting like, like a towel in there because he was just rubbing against my neck. And if you're running for a couple of hours in it, you know, you get, you draw some blood out, right? Um, so while we're talking about adjustments, uh, what happens if I need a bit more slack or if I need to take more because I'm thinner than whatever the system is predetermined in terms of, of circumference? On the Gorok one, here in the back, it has a panel. And it has the same system, right? You just have two Velcro system, two Velcro straps, and then you just move it a little bit more to the outside if you need a little bit of a wider circumference or bring it closer if you need less circumference, right? Very easy, very, very easy. While I'm here, I'm gonna also show you. This is a little bit stretchy, has some give. This is lined, it's very, very nice to the touch. Um, the inside of the vest is also very soft to the touch. Also, these guys up here in the in the shoulder straps, it's, you can see it's a different material. This is Cordura, this is a lining. It also goes on the sides, which is nice. I don't know why, <laughs> you know, Gora keeps pushing working out without a shirt. You can work out without a shirt then, right? So, very easy to adjust. This also makes it very easy to give this to a body um, you know, in case you wanna you wanna lend this to somebody, a very easy adjustment is not gonna. And then when you get it back, you put it right to your size, very easily, right? Tuck plate carrier, not so much, but remember, this is a plate carrier, so it's for you. It's for your personal body armor. So once it's set up, it should be set up, right? So on these ones, we have these wires. You see the wire here. You see the wire over here, right? So that wire runs all the way through, all the way to the back, right? So I already, I already pulled this side out. You can see the other side is in, right? So if I want to take some slack, I have to actually pull the cable, then move this portion, right? I'm taking some slack right now and then rewire. Does it take a lot of time? Not really, but again, it's not an easy on-off process, right? So it kind of makes it a little bit of a hassle having to lend somebody this and then you bring it back and then you have to resize it to yourself. This same wire goes all the way to the top. I'm still undoing it and that's also how you adjust the length of the shoulder straps. You, you see, right here, you keep pulling the, the wire, and that actually frees the shoulder strap, and then you go up one notch, 
then you try it. If it fits, it's cool. If not, you have to redo the whole thing. So that's one of the major setbacks for me when it comes to this guy, right? Um, Go rock. We already saw how you do it here on the on the on the circumference, but we're talking about the shoulder straps. That's the part that um, I don't know if you have a small frame. If it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great, or if it's gonna sit too low. I, I this is exactly how I got it. There's not from from the box. There's not a lot of slack left, and I'm five nine. I don't know if I was shorter. If I would feel that this would sit too much too too low, but anyway. In order to adjust that one, I'm going to just kind of like take away all this stuff. We have to talk about how you adjust the plates as well, right? So this is how the, how the, the vest looks like. You open this pouch like so, and then you reach inside. And that's how you, how you put in the plates, right? I'm going to quickly show you this. Plates. You slide it in. Then you just kind of like tuck the flap, let her on, good to go. Very simple process, right? So for the plates. And in this same part here on the back, in the back side, we're right now on the back side, we undo this Velcro and it allows us to access this part in which I can actually unvelcro the strap and then I can actually pull from here, right? So the this part is a little bit more cumbersome to adjust, but I think it's even it's way better than the wire anyway, right? So I still like it better. Um, to do the plates on these guys, right? It's a similar system. You also open a pouch, but it has two straps. It has a strap that adjusts it vertically and then it has another one I don't know if I can get the light in but it has another one that adjusts it horizontally so if I have my plate there's two sets there is two sets of straps one that comes this way and one that comes that way right so strap strap so um, I find it that I had to have a little bit of, take an extra minute to make sure that that didn't move too much. So I think that I also like the GoRock system a little bit better. And to be quite honest, it also makes it easier to interchange the rope plates or your GoRock plate. This is a 20 pound one. Just stick it in there, right? And now I have a 20 here and a 13 and three quarters on the on the back right so this of course makes it also easier in terms of investing in plates right because then if you already have 20 or 30 plates from GoRock you can use the same plate versus if you have the tack plate carrier you can only use uh, rogue or, or body armor shaped uh, plates so Overall, I think, you know, at 150 bucks, uh, I think it's a, great, it's a great addition to any workout equipment that you have. I think it's a very good option, right? Um, and I think that it's just what you need, right? Without all those fancy features that you're not gonna need if you're not gonna go out on the field, uh, you know, with, with tactical armor, with body armor, right? So this is my honest review on the vest. Please comment, like, share. Um, let me know if you have any other questions and see you around.